everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a do-it-yourself jewelry inspired holder. If you want to see how, what I'm doing, keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. So the first couple items you're going to need for your DIY do-it-yourself jewelry holder is going to be a picture frame. Now I'm going to be using um, a collage picture frame because for me this just fits my personality a lot more than just one basic picture frame but you can use any type of picture frame like an 8x7 a smaller one you could use like one of these you could use any type of size picture frame but this one is gonna fit what um, I'm looking for in my personality so the next thing that you're gonna need which is very important for this type of jewelry holder is um, a window screen I just picked this up from um, Menards this was about six bucks with tax and everything included at my local also Menards. what you're gonna need is either um, a pair of scissors or like an exacto slicer. So I'm slicer. just going to flip my picture holder around so I can see this side over here. And right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking all of the little um, secure little fastens and I'm unsecuring them so I can get this back out. I'm just taking out the little frame. cardboards that come with picture frames generally and then I'm just going to take out the fake little um, pictures. So I took all the fake little pictures out, the 8x10s, and now I'm just stacking up all my glass plates and I'm taking all of those out. I'm going to be careful with those because I do not want these to break. Um, yeah so I have all my glass plates together and I'm just gonna set those aside as well everything's taken apart and I just have an empty see-through picture frame and we're gonna move on so to our I'm next step I'm cutting now. out my um, rectangle Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking all of our pre-cut um, screen liners, window screens, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to start placing them inside of our picture frame. Most of them should be pretty perfect as well as like size-wise and going and stuff. You don't really want them to overlap. So you're just going to be filling them in their spot. That one's a little too small, so I'm going to grab another one. Just like that. And they will pop up. That's perfectly fine for right now. Put that one in that spot. That one's a little big. We'll wait on that one to see if we absolutely need it. Give this one a spot. Sorry if I'm not filming it. Give this one a spot. And, um... Next, what you're going to do to help, like, secure them in their spots is you're going to put their glass behind them in their spots. So now that we put all of our glasses into the picture frame, we're just going to go and put our back onto our picture and press that down if you can get it down. And then we're just going to go by and just um, secure the back. So now we're at our favorite part, which is um, hanging some of your favorite jewelry pieces onto um, your homemade jewelry holder. The thing I like about this is you can put them in any way, any order that you would like. You can hang them sideways, you can hang them up and down, any way you would like. And you can even hang these with the backs still in them, which I like as well. So you don't have to lose your backs of your earrings. So now we're at the fun part, the very end, and this is when you add your own jewelry pieces that you love into your jewelry holder. And so I just did a lot of my dangly hoops, earrings, you know, so I'm just going to put some of my favorite ones in there. I'm going to take the back out and put some studded earrings in this one, and I'm probably going to be uploading another video teaching you how to do it for like um, 
a lot of like your small rings that you can't get to go anywhere or like a necklace so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys continue to watch some more of my videos and um i will see you in my next video bye hey everyone i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you continue to watch some more of my videos i'm gonna be doing a lot more um lace reviews makeup videos um sorry i'm kind of short right now um do it yourself videos outfit of the days i can even vlog so whatever you guys want to see i just want to have you guys comment message you know like thumbs down do whatever you want to make me know um what you guys want me to do so i can make videos to make you guys happy i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys enjoy to watch some more of my videos in the future if you want to Thank figure you. out where i got this hair or what type of hair i'm wearing right now click right here in this box and I'll teach you how I did that. If you want to see how I did this makeup, just click right here and I'll upload something for you. Or if you want to see a simple outfit of the day with this blouse that I'm wearing or you want to know where I got it, click right here.